Welcome to my first outdoor unboxing in quite a while. The weather's beautiful, perfect for flying. So we've got the Parrot AR Drone 2.0 here today. This is basically like the original Parrot AR Drone, except that it is smarter, faster, it's higher definition, it's like more maneuverable, it's got more features, so you can like flip around and stuff. So basically, it's like the AR Drone, except way better. I mean, one of the things that I said when I first saw the AR Drone is I'm not really that excited about AR Drone. But what I'm excited about is where this is heading. This is the next evolutionary step. So they've taken the low resolution camera on the Drone V1 and added an HD camera. So you can view on your tablet or on your smartphone in 1280 by 720 HD. They've added intuitive smart, okay, intuitive smartphone control isn't new. It's also available in both the market and the app store, although it's called Google Play now, I guess, um, at launch, which the V1 wasn't. YouTube ready, okay, I suppose most video recording devices could be called YouTube ready. What else we got on here? Okay, easy connect, yeah, we got that. So HD front camera and um, QVGA vertical camera. So they haven't upgraded the bottom camera, but that's okay, because it's just to keep it from drifting side to side. Uh, you tilt, tilt, control, record, and share. Ah, yes, video recording. AR Drone V1 did not come in the native uh, free flight app from Parrot with video recording capability. V2 does. So people were putting like um, what are HD heroes and all that on their drones. Now you don't have to. You can use the front camera to record in HD video and share with. Aha! Share with friends through the control application available on the App Store and the Android Market. Automatic camera moves. Okay, high stability. Wow, automatic static flight up to 50 meters high when commands are released, that's cool. So the original drone couldn't really go that high and retain a certain amount of control. It looks like they've improved that aspect as well. Carbon fiber central cross, okay. Let's move right along here. Stabilization system, photo video recording, 50 meter, 165 foot range. Yep, I believe that because we took even a drone V1 which was using wireless G the distance of this entire parking lot here. So you can see that's pretty far away. So drone V2 with wireless N should be even better. Real-time video slash real-time video feedback. Yep, cool. Okay, let's get it opened up. I'm actually pretty stoked here. Oh yeah, the apps. So the game apps, if you know other people who uh, own an AR drone, you can download these apps and you can play virtual games where it's like an augmented reality type of gaming experience thing going on. Okay then. So, it feels lighter than the original drone, actually. That's kind of interesting. Let's move right along. Let's have a look at what we've got included. So, first thing that's included is your outdoor hull. So this one doesn't have the protective cover around the propellers. So the advantage is you get better battery life and you get better maneuverability, but the disadvantage is if you get too close to a tree, you're not going to have that protective bumper zone that, well, protects you. I would suggest flying the AR drone with the indoor hull at first until you get a little bit used to it, even though it's not quite as fast and not quite as exciting to fly. AR drone 2.0 battery. So they have changed the battery design as well as the charger design from the original AR drone. So if you have existing batteries, you will need to get the new ones and the new charger as well. So let's just go ahead and throw that on there. Now it's a nice little clip-in design, whereas the old one was actually kind of ghetto. It includes all the adapters you need for various regions. So there's my North American one, but uh, no matter where you live, you just throw it on there and you're ready to charge up your battery. It also includes some helpful little stickers. These are great for augmented reality games. You can also do neat things with the drone. Like you can put these on things like your hat. You can set the drone to follow you around because they are designed to recognize these stickers. Also includes a thick old manual. So they recommend for 14 up for the AR Drone 2.0. I can see why because you know, you bust up your AR drone, your, your 10 year old busts up their AR drone on like the first time they're flying it. They're going to be pretty disappointed, but you kind of expect that to happen with young kids. It is pretty easy to fly, uh, assuming that it's at least as easy as the V1, which I'm sure it is, but you can make mistakes. It does happen from time to time. So in here we got your basic controls. This is good. It gets you started. However, I would definitely recommend watching some of Parrot's YouTube videos 
or I'm going to be doing more of a video review of this one later and you can check that out as well if you want some more tips on flying. Let's have a look at some specs here. So we already covered this, you got a wide angle lens, that's important for navigation because you don't want to just have tunnel vision right in front of you if you don't have line of sight to the drone. So if you're actually navigating by the video feed, you're going to want to be able to see what's on your left and your right to get around it or over it or whatever else, not run into it. Video storage on the fly with Wi-Fi directly to a remote device or on a USB key. So you can actually plug a USB key right into the air drone right here. Very, very cool stuff. There's all your specs in terms of the, uh, the recording. Not much else to say about that. Robust structure. So expanded polypropylene EPP hulls. Okay. They feel lighter than the old ones, so if nothing else, that's good. Foam to isolate inertial center from the engine's vibrations. Cool. Carbon fiber tubes, which are located uh, here. No, that's not right. Here. So the central cross is made of carbon fiber. Total weight 380 grams with outdoor hull, 420 with the indoor hull. High grade 30% fiber charged nylon plastic parts. This is important because the AR drone is incredibly durable. I've actually had my drone V1 uh, fall from heights in excess of here, just directly down on its side with an outdoor hull and actually not be damaged. I was able to pick it right back up do a quick check, quick visual inspection, and fly it again immediately. So yes, the replacement parts are, you know, they're there for you, but odds are you won't need them right away, even if you crash a few times, unless you're incredibly unlucky. Liquid repelling nano coating on the ultrasound sensors. Oh, that's kind of cool. Fully repairable. All parts and instructions for repairing are available on the internet. Their instructions are outstanding. I actually had them crash my AR drone V1 at the Vancouver Men's Show. They flew it up to the very top of the ceiling of a warehouse. So we're talking about three stories up and then it hit something and fell down. They lost control while I wasn't there to supervise them using my drone. So it busted the central cross. It took me a couple hours to repair, but using the videos available from Parrot, I didn't waste any time. So I just had to get myself a new central cross. All right, electronic assistance, check this out. This thing basically has a tablet in it. 1 gigahertz ARM Cortex A8 processor with 800 megahertz of video DSP, 1 gigabit DDR2 RAM at 200 megahertz, which is plenty, Wi-Fi N, as I mentioned before, it's got an accelerometer, a gyroscope, a pressure sensor, as well as the 60 FPS vertical, vertical QVGA camera for ground speed measurement. Oh, okay, I guess they're using it for speed measurement now too. The, uh, the vertical camera, which is located here on the drone, if I can find it, it used to be located here on the drone, here on the, here on the drone, is also used to keep it from drifting. So if on a windy day like today, it's easy for the wind to blow the drone a little to this side, but it can look at this line and readjust itself to make sure that it doesn't drift all over the place. All right, going right back along, three axis magnetometer, six degree precision, ultrasound sensors for ground altitude measurement. So that's pretty cool as well. So I'll show you the ultrasound sensors. These guys are right here, so there's a transmitter and a receiver. This tells the drone, within a very, very accurate degree of measurement, how high it is off the ground. And finally, yes, it's very easy to fly. This much is true, we already know this, aha, motors. So they've upgraded the motors as well, specific high-propelled drag, so a bunch of specs here that probably don't mean that much to you unless you are a total, you know, RC motor geek, but there you go, water resistant, cool stuff. So. In summary, Drone 2 is awesomer than Drone 1 in pretty much every possible way. It includes basically the same package. You got your outdoor hull, your indoor hull, your battery and your charger, as well as the drone itself. And I am very, very excited to take this thing out for a flight. So I just want to show you guys a quick sort of visual tour of the drone. So there's, your, there's how you swap the hull. You just pick it up. It's held on with a magnet, which is stored in here. So once you pop it into place, it's not going to come off, but it's also easy to remove if you want to. Okay, your battery gets held in the harness right here, plugs in your power right there, and uh, your USB recording is done right here. I'd recommend using a lightweight USB key, not something really heavy. You don't want to affect the balance of the drone, although it looks like it's right in the center. Um, and you don't want to affect your battery life as well as the performance of it. There's your HD camera. You want to be careful with that guy. And these, this design looks very, very similar to Drone V1 other than a couple changes in component. In, uh, in the components that are being used. So you got your same uh, gears and shafts, your same propeller blades by the look of things. Very flexible, 
which will save your bacon at some point, I guarantee it. When you accidentally fly it up against a tree and it bends like this, instead of snapping off, like I've seen many other less intelligently designed uh, RC aircraft do. Uh, on the bottom here, yeah, there's pretty much nothing, uh, nothing out of the ordinary. So you've got your camera as well as your ultrasound. And I think that pretty much covers it. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Parrot AR Drone V2. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.